Breakfast. You're on Tata 2 with two this morning. And Noku no te honore. I have Ian Jones, the legendary All Black, on the phone. Tēnā koe, Ian. Morena Fano, how are you? How's everyone down there? Oh, it's pretty chilly, actually. We're getting snowed <laughs> under here. Awesome. What, what's it like up in Tamaki? Hey, always beautiful, man. Wherever you go, you're always smiling, so it's always beautiful. That's what we do, right? That's what we do. Well, you're always a, a smiley guy. You've been, uh, you, well, you've got a lot to be smiling about. You're the new general manager of the All Blacks experience in Tamaki Makoto, a Ngaitahu uh, owned business, the interaction, the fun. I mean, of course, it must be hard mahi as well. Yeah, it is, but it's beautiful because what I want to do is just share a wider, you know, that spirit of all of our teams in black, not just the All Blacks, but the Black Ferns, our Māori All Blacks, everyone who's worn the black jersey, their, their legacy helped us create what we have here, the All Blacks experience, and that cultural element is what brings our visitors both domestically mm. and internationally, just blown away by the power of our values, our team, what we've done in the past. So, yeah, it's beautiful mahi to be able to kind of share that with our visitors. Yes, yeah, so you've been there since its inception, right? The All Blacks experience, working behind the scenes, getting it all up and running. You must be proud of, of what you've created and uh, being a part of that legacy, like you say. Yeah, so proud because it's so authentic. Everything is about who we are as All Blacks, as Black Ferns, how we go from the grassroots, how you make a rugby player to the shaping, how you shape that love into becoming an elite sports person and taking people into the change rooms. You know, I invite all my Naitahu whanau to come on up. I'll be here. I'll take them through. I'll share some stories with them, but sit mm. them in the changing rooms and, you know, kind of get that, how would I handle that moment to walk down the tunnel, represent the legacy of the jersey, the mm. legacy of my whanau, go out there and to take on uh, the opposition. So put those people in the issues of their favourite player, how they handle that moment yeah. before facing the haka. It's, it's amazing. So, yeah, always an open invitation to my nai tahu whanau to come up here and, and I'll take them through or at least meet and greet them and have a chat. Wow. The legend Ian Jones. You've played 105 games for the Te Kapa Opango. What was, if you can remember, the most, you know, the, 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 the moment that gave you the chills? Oh, well, of course, you know, the first time you actually handed a jersey, mm. um, Buck Shelford was the one who actually physically gave my first jersey. He was the captain of the day I made my debut for the All Blacks. So there alone is a moment that will always stand the test of time for me. It's, it's wow. a cliche, but it's a cliche for a reason. That first jersey was amazing. And then maybe one of the more special, a couple of more special occasions was the 95 Rugby World Cup final. Okay, not the outcome mm. we wanted, but yeah, you know, the Nelson Magnella, the plane flying overhead, everything wow. about the African tournament. And then, of course, when we won a series for the very first time, Pretoria, 1996, 2-0 um, up in the, in the series. Um, that, that jersey was a special jersey. And it was almost, went back to the change rooms and you wanted to celebrate, but it was actually more whew, relief, you know, that, hey, we've finally done it, we've dreamt about this, we've worked hard towards our goal, we've achieved our goal and I just remember honestly uh, looking around at tan rooms and people just being physically exhausted wow. you know, just absolutely the tank was empty and then it wasn't until we actually got back to uh, Aotearoa that we kind of started to realise what we've done mm. and you can reflect and look back and think man, so proud of what we did but poof there were a couple of games anyhow. That sounds absolutely amazing. I feel like you took me on a journey there. This is the <laughs> legendary Ian Jones, the former All Black, and he is now the general manager at the All Blacks Experience. How can Farno book their tickets and get involved with the All Blacks Experience? Yep, we're in Sky City, so any time you're up in Tamaki, Makoura, come to Sky City, that's where the All Black Experience is. So plenty to do. Experience All Blacks uh, is our website, so just jump on that. Um, we'll look after any of the Naitahu whānau. I really want you to kind of feel part of what we are mm. as well. And, and certainly this is only a dream at the moment, Ben, but I'd love to have a reunion up here of all Naitahu All Blacks, Black Ferns, Māori All Blacks. Wouldn't that be a special occasion uh, to be part of 
as it well because, be. as you know, man, those Motahu Warriors, man, their, their contribution to New Zealand rugby has been immense. Pretty Wipu, you know, Tamati Allison. Uh, we've got so many that we can talk about and we'll have them all here one day. Oh, awesome. Tēnā Ian Jones. Well, you're used to being under pressure as an athlete, <laughs> as an All Black. Now, I've got a game for you. you it's the Māori language game. You've got to answer as many Māori kupu as humanly possible in 30 seconds. You want to play it next? All good? Yeah, no, no. Bring it on. But, hey, I apologise in advance. I know. I'm just, just starting my journey. From, but but, but uh, bear with. Okay, okay. Now, you're used to being under pressure situations, being a former All Black, 105 games for the All Black, but are you ready to take on the Real Māori Challenge? Man, I'm ready. I mean, I do apologise in advance. I'm just starting my journey, but please bear with and support me, whānau. Help okay. me along the way. Okay, here we go. This is... Tuku. Te kupu. You have to translate as many Māori uh, kupu in 30 seconds as you can. Are you ready? Your time... Uh, Katimata i Nayane. Ahi. Ahi. Ah, uh, beer. Oh, that's a that's fire. Okay, puku, puku. Uh, my belly. Yes. Uh, kai. Oh, food. Yes. Why? Water. Ah, uh, yes. Nui. Nui, nui, nui. Ah. Um, I don't know that one. That's big. Okay, uh, tear. What oh, about? I knew that one because my my boat. I can do it. Big fish. That's it. All right, we'll get. We'll, we'll give you. You know what? We'll just give you that one as a consolation. How about that? Ian Jones, uh, the former All Black legend, who is now the general manager at the All Blacks Experience. I can say you have got four kupu Māori correct. Nama ia hoa. That was an awesome effort. Too Mickey. Awesome. <laughs> uh, any, any closing quarter that, that you'd like to say to Alfano from Waitau uh, to get them to come and, you know, enjoy the All Blacks experience in Tamaki Makoto? Yeah, I just want New Zealanders, um, my Tahu Alfano, uh, to be very proud of this place, what we represent, mm. and come and help us share the wairua of all of our teams in black. So open invitation to any of the whanau, come over, Come up, say good day, or come up and have a cordial with you, and it would just be awesome. Oh, Ngama Inunui, thank you so much. Ian Jones, former All Black and Aotearoa legend, and uh, I'll let you off the hook this time. Next time we play the Māori language <laughs> game, you'll know what Nui means, because Puku Nui, big stomach. Remember that one. Ah. <laughs> awesome, bro. Take right. care. Kia ora, hei kona. Tahu FM, dot online.